How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to the episode of Fishing ATX. It is the end of summer, and we are back out on Still House Hollow. It has been about four months since we last fished out here, and as you can probably see already behind me, the water, just like everywhere else in Central Texas, has gone down a bunch. Last time we fished out here, it was about 10 feet down. Now it's 18 feet down, so definitely might be a bit of a change, but the good thing is we have actually had a good amount of rain recently. It actually rained a lot this morning. Everything's pretty still soaked and damp from that but we're back out here man it's been a minute with lake travis being closed right now for the water levels being too low this is a lake we're gonna come out and fish a lot it's got a lot of good fish in here and really we're just trying to figure it out considering we've only fished out here one time in the past and we had some pretty good success but today we're gonna hit some spots we fished before if you look back actually behind me this bank over here we caught some good fish off of last time so i think we're gonna go ahead and start there but We've got a lot of different stuff. I think we're gonna come out early on and just throw a bunch of moving baits, some chatter baits through the grass, well, some crank baits around the rocks. But then if that doesn't work, and or we just wanna try and change things up, we're gonna throw some soft plastics down deep in the grass and around 10 to 20 feet and see if we can find some fish that way. But with that guys, that is really the main game plan for today. We're gonna go ahead and put the boat in the water, get fishing and see if we can figure out still house just a little bit better. Alrighty y'all, we have made it to spot number one. This is a bank that we fished a decent amount last time I was out here. I wanna say we caught three or four fish off of it. It's definitely a lot more shallow. The high drill has come up a lot more too, so we're not gonna be able to fish the crane bait right up against the bank. We'll try to fish it right along the outside of the hydrilla. See if we can pick off some fish doing this. We'll throw a shatter bait as well. We'll move on from there. Got one? Yeah. Nice. On the shatter bait? Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Good fish? Eh. Mid size one. This is small, not so large. It's a good little start right there. About one and a half pounder, maybe a little under, he's a little skinny, but. Yeah, one and a quarter. Yeah, it's a pretty fish, though. That's that clear water and all the hydrilla, give them those beautiful colors. Yes, yeah. I guarantee that's what it is. That's a fish. That's a fish, dude. That might be a good one. I can't tell. Um, oh my gosh, my camera's falling off. <laughs> um, I don't think I need it. That's a good fish, though. Oh, there we go. Dude, look at my camera. My camera fell off. Thank God I got the dash cam going. That's a good one, right on that point. What the heck? This, this part of the camera's never fallen off before. Thank God for the dash cam, huh? That's two nice fish to start off with. Let's say, give them just a little bit. Probably right around two pounds or so, maybe a little over. Pretty fish, right on that point, right there. See you, baby, buddy. All right, chest cam should be good now, guys. It's a rare malfunction for it, but there we go. Middle of the day, bluebird skies are being a little stormy all day, but we're both already on the board. Aaron caught one about five minutes ago, just down the bank, and then I pull one out right here on this point, both on these little white chatter baits. Nice. Yeah, just inhaled it. There we are, number two. Very first cast over here with the drop shot. There we are, number two. Drop shot, strikes their first time here today. Nope. There's one, God! Freaking crushed it up towards the bank. It's stuck in the hydrilla, but it hit it so hard. There we go, got him out. I might need the net. It feels really nice. Oh, yep, 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 that's a good one. He's really skinny. Look at that, look at that head, though. That's a good fish, that's probably a four pounder. There we go, yes! Nice head on that fish. Look at that head. I don't know if he's four pounds because how skinny he is, but. Uh, 
yeah, that's all of a four pound. Yeah, that might be four. Pounds, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say that. That's oh, definitely. I would give that four hundred percent. Yeah, that was exactly like what you did earlier. I put it right up by the bank, and it hit it as soon as it started reeling. This fish is all day a four pounder, but just look how skinny it is. It's definitely the body of a four. I just don't know if it's actually gonna be four. Oh, now looking at it. You see what I mean? You see how skinny that fish is? Yeah. yeah. Three three. Nice fish though. There we are, guys. Really solid fish right there. Just over three pounds. Easily could be a four pounder if it was just fatter, but nice, really good fight by her. There we go, crushed it. Oh, maybe. That was a door right there, guys. It's totally missed. I might need the nose, pretty good fish too. Yeah, dude, that's another stud. Holy cow. This one looks a little fatter. Look at that drag. He's dogging you. Yeah, he is dogging me. This thing is a nice fish, bro. Right <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so fun. Oh yeah. Look at that's that. Nice. That's even bigger than the last one. Come on. There we go. Oh, and it came off. Dude, it came off when it got in the net. Now that, come on, that's gotta go four, right? That fish is fatter. That's gotta be close. Yeah. I, that's gonna be real close. Look at that, guys. Another stud on the chatterbait. Gosh, what a fun fight. This one's definitely heavier than ever fish, like just holding it in the hand. It's gonna be close. Nope, dang it, three nine. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty close. That's yeah. Close. Yeah, I think so. Another beauty. There we are, y'all. Fish number five on the day. Another saw one, man. The chatterbait is freaking sticking them. Three nine this time. Great fight. Just barely got it in the net. Let's get him back. Thick, thick, healthy fish. Definitely the healthiest fish we've caught. Just about ready to go. There it goes. Heck yeah, baby. Like, still has to not really know. No, it's not. That's what I mean. Like, I really didn't. Like, I knew. I knew it. <laughs> Would you get that fish? Dude, that was so cool. Need the net. Hold on. It looks like a good fish, dude. I might need the net. Hang on, I'm gonna grab the net just in case. He's got <laughs> Like, he's pulling drag. This is what happens when you have a, a, drag is all the way down. a good sized fish on a $6 rod. I saw him, dude. He looks pretty big. That's what I'm saying. I saw him, but I couldn't tell. Oh, he's in the hydrilla. Yeah, you got braid, though. You'll be good. Just keep the pressure on him. Uh, there he is. Oh, that's a fatty, bro. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yes, bro. That's probably the biggest of the day, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, he was just sitting there in a hydrilla. I could see its head just sitting I there. See him. I'm glad that was saw crazy. Him. I just saw his head sitting there. That was so epic. I don't think I got it on the camera, but like I saw it, I heard it, I whipped around. Freaking crazy, man. Just on the trailer hook. Number six on the day. That was an epic eat. I think he's easily three, three and a half. Maybe pushing four. That's another really fat fish, dude. I would go with three, five. Number six on the day. Another solid one. We're fishing a tournament right now. We'd have a pretty damn good bag at this point. There it goes. What do you think? I try my uh, shaky headworm. Yeah, that looks really good. Yours looks way better than mine, <laughs> honestly. You want one? Um, I might. Low key. You're welcome to steal one if you want. I appreciate it. Oh, look at mine. It's not bad looking, but I like yeah, that. Yeah, but this, that looks this color back here, I won't lie, this color is pretty stained. Yeah. Like, look how fast it disappears. Yeah. Oh, just let him fight. Just let him fight. Right, you got a good fish on here, folks. Just let him fight. Dude, oh, <laughs> that's yeah. another stud, dude. <laughs> Let me show that to the camera. Look at this fish, guys. Number three for Aaron, number seven overall. Just turned the camera off, actually. I'm switching to the same little worm that he's throwing. Right on that tree right there. I saw him come out of the tree. That's just crazy. It, yeah, I heard your drag start going. Here, I need to put the scale right back there. If you wanna go grab it, I'll hold your fish for you. Oh, he feels heavy. That's four. No way, that's the There's exact no way. same. 312. That's still biggest of the day though. No, this one's this one's gotta be bigger. I know. What the other one was 313, right? Here. My biggest is 39. 
We have no. Uh, we have, we have, oh, it was. It was three nine. This is still the biggest of the day. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. What was my other one? Two thirteen. Oh, it's two thirteen. I was gonna say. Yeah. Still a freaking stud. We've now caught three, or no, we've now caught four three pounders and seven fish today. God, that's a monster. Yeah, another beauty, dude. Man, we are catching some quality fish here today. That is crazy. Number seven already. We're killing them. <laughs> this is awesome. There she goes. Gosh, dude. Let's get it, bro. Yeah, yeah, Gosh. I can get it. Camera's not even. It's not near as pretty. Look at the back. I mean, yeah, the, the overall colors aren't as pretty, but yeah, the back's it's, really pretty. It's much more white. Than yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going on a rant, guys, about an incident I had this summer, and I decided to turn the camera off. And of course, Ryza turned it off. So when we get eaten, there we are. That's fish number eight on the day now. You think he wanted it? Good lord. Number eight. Another fish, I would say, goes about probably two five, two six. Heck yeah. See you later, bud. Yeah, I, I think it is. It's 21 feet right here. Like, it's just, it's kind of just, that's what you want, though. Like, these are the banks that freaking crush it on Travis. This is, like, pretty much all we fish on Travis. These just steep ledges. They're so great at holding fish just because it creates so many different, like, hiding areas, really. And also, like, a lot of bait will stack up on it, and they sit in the rocks, and then they just come out and ambush it. Got, Got one. one. Nice. nice. Number nice. Okay, eat the net. There we go. God, I'm number 10. Heck yeah, dude. God, the quality of fish out here is yeah, so really nice. Good. Number 10, another about two pounder. The quality of fish on this lake is crazy. Like y'all who watch the channel regularly know we do not catch this kind of quality on Travis. <laughs> like just straight up, you know, maybe we catch a few more fish, but we're catching incredible quality. And I mean, let's not kid ourselves. We're catching a lot of fish. Yeah, it's just a little bit foggy out here this morning, huh? Visibility, if I had to guess, probably right about 100, maybe 100 yards, probably less, honestly, about probably 80 yards or so. It's, you can't see nothing. You look out to Main Lake, it's just abyss. So we're gonna be just following down the bank real closely here, being safe, you know, not trying to do too much right now. Probably throwing nearly top waters, trying to get on a quick early morning bite. The sun has not even come up yet, but we're out here bright and early. The storms did happen to stay away just long enough to where we're gonna have some time to get some fishing in. It's about seven o'clock right now. The storm is supposed to come in right around 12. So we have about five hours or so. Hoping this fog is gonna lift because I mean, if it's like this, you know, for the next few hours, it's gonna be really tough to be efficient while we're out here fishing, but we're on the lake. The fishing should be insane. It's gonna be a low pressure front coming in pre-storm front. It should be freaking crazy automatic. I'm gonna stop talking to you guys. I'm gonna go get on the trolling motor, put the chest cam on. Let's get some more fish. This looks like something out of a dream, honestly. <laughs> You know, it's like all kind of hazy sometimes, your dreams. Oh, did you see that? He didn't get it, dude. He came out of the weeds. I saw his back come out of the weeds and he crushed it, but he never got the hooks. He hit the bait too. He just didn't get the hooks. Lucky freaking fish, man. That was so cool. I literally, I saw his back come out of the weeds and eat it. That was a small bass though. That thing was probably like a pound.
He is staring it down, yeah. Oh, that was so sick. Yeah. He, um, I don't know if any. Uh, yeah, he's, small. he's not small, that's for sure. But he got it pretty good. There we go, dude. Yes, that's why we came back in here. Just like that. That's a butterball. Oh my gosh. Let's go, dude. Ooh, my heart is racing. <laughs> came all the way up into the very back of this cove, trying to find a fish on top water, and we got it. First fish on the day, number 11 on the video. Heck yeah, dude. See you later, pal. Well, we've been throwing the chatterbait around, talking about how it's pretty tough right now, just because the pressure is pretty high, and it's just getting higher right now because the weather keeps changing, but we still managed to stick one on a moving bait. Another fish coming out of the grass here, but you know, nothing to write home about. I'm not too concerned about missing this one off camera because it's <laughs> probably one of the smallest fish I've ever caught out of this lake. See you later, bud. Yeah, it's 15 feet right here. I like this. We ate so poorly on that trip because we were fishing the whole time. And a lot of times we would get done so late, there'd be nothing open but fast food. So I literally just ate fast food like four times a day for like three days in a row. Do I have a fish? Do I have a fish? Looks like it. It feels like I do. I do have a fish. Next. I might need it. Yeah, he's pulling, dude. Yeah, that's a good fish. What in the world? <laughs> it's a chunkers, dude. Golly. Pull him over here. Yep, I got him. There we go. How <laughs> is that out of nowhere? That didn't even feel like a bite. Thank you. I was like continuing my story. I'm, guys, I'm talking about the story from the East Texas tour a few weeks ago when I got real sick. I was just continuing my story. Meanwhile, just fighting that fish. I didn't think it was a fish. I thought I had hydrilla. Man, these fish are just gorgeous out here. But they really are. Wow, look at his dorsal fin. The first two spines are missing. That's crazy. I don't know if I've ever caught one like that before. Fish number three. It's been a little slow, but we're still getting them. See you later, bud. Got one? Nice. What was that on? Jig? Heck yeah. Number four. Finally on the board. Yes, sir. Like watching that jig go up into the shore and just like fall off the ledge. It looks so good. That's thunder. I'll just say that's definitely thunder. Okay. That might be our cue to... That might be our cue to start kind of getting back towards the ramp. As much as I want to fish the dam area, I would kind of rather be close to the ramp low key. We're not screwing around in the rain this time. We're not gonna die. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> we did it again, guys. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, I just always choose to stay way too long. We're the second to last boat. There's a guy, <laughs> his boat's still out right there. No way. Yeah, that's crazy. That must be the dude that was fly fishing. Maybe. That went yeah. the opposite direction. Yeah. That's crazy. We're gonna get out and rig the boat up, but we'll talk about it here in a minute. It was absolute disaster, but <laughs> we're okay as of now, so good the Lord. As you can probably tell, we got caught in the storm again. This is what happens when I fish. I'm I'm crazy and I push things to the absolute max. And a lot of times it bites me in the ass as it did again here today. We ended up leaving with enough time to where we got back to the ramp for it started raining. But as we got back to the ramp, there was tons of lightning and literally all hell broke loose. As you can see now, it is absolutely pouring. It was a disaster getting the boat back in the trailer because it got stuck into the hydrilla. I had to mow on through it. And then the, I had the trolling motor down just to make sure the boat wasn't going anywhere. Ended up not pulling it up until too late. I got a bunch of hydrilla on it. The wind's all crazy, so you know, it's hard to center it on the trailer, but thank God we got it up on the trailer, all hooked up. We're ready to go home, but my God, 
it's been freaking wild. This has been a just disaster, <sighs> but we're okay. And honestly, it could be worse off. There's a guy behind us. There's the last boat. It's still to get up the trailer. He's still in the water. Yeah, he's still in the water. It could be a lot worse. So we're safe. We're okay. We're gonna take this video home. We'll wrap it up there. But man, still house. It's a great fishing lake, but for some reason, I always get caught out in these just nasty, nasty storms. All right, y'all, we have made it back to my house now. As you can see, we made it in one piece. It was freaking white knuckles, pouring rain, hazard lights on for about 45 minutes. And then the rain kind of started to break up a little bit as we got back. And as you can see right now, it's actually not raining. We have another wave getting ready to come through here in about an hour. So we're getting the boat all covered up, got it all drained out as well. Got all the stuff out of the truck. We're good, but man, <laughs> We just keep freaking testing it. But overall, what a freaking weekend of fishing. We absolutely crushed them yesterday with the good conditions. Didn't catch them as well today, obviously, with the changing conditions and the high pressure. But we still went out there and caught some fish, so I am plenty happy. We're definitely starting to figure out still house pretty good. We have a lot of time to fish it. Being that I'm at college, I'm a lot closer to it now. So we're going to be fishing this lake for a long time to come. And I think we're just starting to scratch the surface of its true potential. With that, though, guys, thank you for watching this episode. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, remember to leave a like and to go down below and subscribe to Fishing Antiques if you are new. Also, my Instagram is linked in the bio as well, so go ahead and go check that out. With that, though, folks, thank you again for watching another video. I will see you guys next time back out on the water.